Welcome, I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. We're going to do your general love reading for the month of November 2023. Please like, share, subscribe. Feel free to leave a positive comment down below. I am available for private readings. Go check out my website. That link is also down in the description box under the video. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. So let's see what's going on for you at this time in love and relationships. I'm going to pull an overall energy message first, and then we'll go from there. You've got the wolf. Beware who you trust. Okay, so I feel like... Somebody here um, could be taking advantage of you. Now, I think it would be really hard for someone to take advantage of an Aquarius. You are very astute, um, highly intelligent. You're not easy to fall, fool. Um, but I feel like someone's going to try pulling some stuff with you anyway. They don't know who they're dealing with. And then you've got the chalice, rejuvenation and fulfillment here. So I feel like something's going to get better. Um, maybe you're not quite trusting it because of this person's past behavior. Um, but I feel like somebody's trying to be better. Um, you could be dealing with someone who drinks a lot. Um, and when they're drinking, they might be a mean drunk. Hopefully that's not the case. I feel like somebody's trying to overcome some trust issues here as well. All right, off the bottom, you've got the Four of Swords. The Fool. Three of Cups. death, and the devil. Okay, so you can be dealing with a Scorpio or a Capricorn here. Um, an Aries, possibly an, another Aquarius. I, I take the Fool uh, because it's the very first. It's zero. Uh, Aquarius is the um, starts at the beginning of the year, the calendar year. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, another air sign, another Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So I feel like right now is a time of rest and reflection. You've been through something and now you're coming up with some sort of a plan or a strategy to move forward here. Um, you feel a bit restricted. There's an element of fear because you're not trusting something. And your, your mistrust is something that could be holding you back um, because massive change wants to come in for you. And it's going to lead to some sort of rebirth. Um, I feel like you're, you're in this very res restrictive relationship. I don't know if you have a controlling partner. Um but I feel like there's a lot of ego clashes here, power plays, power struggles, um, back and forth, and something needs to end here. Somebody needs to change their ways. Because it's like you just want a lighter, more fun relationship. I feel like there's just been like, you've all you've been doing is working, working, working. And you've had a lot of restrictions placed on your personal time. And, you know, you could be with somebody who's the opposite of you, who, you know, is happy-go-lucky. They don't have a care in the world. They like to, you know, go out and party. And you're more serious where you're involved, you know, with work and whatever else 
uh, whatever else it is that you're doing, and that's where the clash is coming in. So you guys need to somehow figure out how to get on the same page with your partner. Okay. I also see that there's going to be some weird um, serendipitous moment where you're in the right place at the right time and it changes everything and you don't expect it and it, it's not what you had planned for. Um, and it's going to it's gonna be a lot better for you. But it's, whatever this offer is that you're going to stumble upon, you might not trust it, but it's going to bring a lot of um, fulfillment and happiness. Um, and it may happen um, between now and um, after the first of the year. Clarify this, Wolf. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. So there's some sort of solid offer coming in. Could even be an apology of some sort, and you're not trusting it. Because somebody, like I said, they're, they're just, something doesn't seem quite right. Somebody might be trying to fool you. But the Page of Pentacles is someone who, um, they've graduated. They, they're they taking everything they know and applying it in the real world. So some of you may have recently um, completed uh, school or some sort of continuing education course or some sort of training. Um, some of you might be involved in IT security. But there's a solid offer coming in. It might not seem like very much at first. Make sure you do your homework and research. Ask some questions and before you make a decision. Somebody could be offering you a gift or offering to take you out. And then the Fool is clarified with the Page of Wands. So this is very similar energy here. You could be dealing with a younger fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or maybe even an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel like there's good news coming in that's going to make you really happy. But I think because you might have been through a lot of stuff that you're not trusting it and some you know you are being guided by spirit here spirit's got your back but i said it might have something to do with some sort of creative business or venture partnership or um some ideas um that you'd like this if you if you're a person with kids this might have to do with your um children Death is clarified with the Ace of Swords. So another Ace, another beginning here. Clarity. Seeing what needs to be cut off, what you need to release in order to have a fresh start and a new beginning. You see very clearly that things cannot continue the way they were can't keep going on like this. Clarify this, devil. Seven of cups. So there's fear, confusion, suffering the consequences of your poor choices, looking at how you got here because of your choices, um, choosing things that limit and restrict you because you're afraid to get out of your comfort zone. Somebody, again, could be drinking or under the influence of other substances and they start arguments with you and fights. And it's like you guys are constantly arguing and then making up and, you know, breaking up and making up. And you're getting tired of this. It needs to end because you haven't seen any change. And you, you know, you're not going to keep taking people back all the time. You need to get very clear on what you want out of this relationship, what you want for yourself, 
and make some decisions here. And when you do, it's going to just change your life. It's The energy is going to change. It's going to be much lighter energy. This could have to do with the reconciliation of a marriage. As well, some sort of reunion. Somebody can't let go of the hurt, the betrayal, the backstabbing, the arguments, the things that were said and done. And you need to end that because it doesn't serve you to sit in, in that energy of holding grudges and being um, resentful towards your partner. On the bottom of the clarifying deck, you've got the Six of Wands here. So this is coming back from a, a battle victoriously, finally getting the recognition that you deserve, getting the attention that you deserve. Um, and being rewarded. Okay, but there's still a lot, lot of stuff to do. But like I said, it could be, you know, your partner was, you know, off in their own little world. And uh, like I said, there's a lot of trust issues that need to be healed with this connection. Let's get some advice for you from Spirit. Can I get some advice for Aquarius, please? Advice... For Aquarius. Okay, you've got positivity. Okay, so try to remain positive, not pessimistic. Um, you know, don't don't let your fears and insecurities drag you down. Okay. Turn impossible into I'm possible, okay? What else for Aquarius? Let's get some love messages on this. But looks like there's some sort of apology, reconciliation, reunion, change, but hopefully they're showing you that they've changed because you're not trusting it. Wishes. Wishes are dreams we can manifest. What is your wish? Freedom. Love can only flourish and grow in freedom. Create space to receive more. Again, if somebody is being very controlling and uh, restrictive because they have insecurities and trust issues, somebody needs to loosen up on the reins a bit because you're, you're just going to create resentment and conflict rather than creating love that flourishes and grows. And then snowflake crystal. This love bond is as unique as a snowflake. Once in a lifetime love. So there, there is no other love like this. It's very unique. And then you've got closeness. You share a close bond here, and the bond between you creates a special understanding. So it's like there's potential here. For the two of you to work this out, you may need to go get professional counseling. You need to speak your truth. And uh, people need to stop playing games here. So that's what I have for you at this time, Aquarius. Until I see you again, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye-bye.